thermodynamics thermodynamics method of mixtures method of mixtures when a hot body is mixed with a cold body when a hot body is mixed with a cold body heat flows from hot body to cold body heat flows from hot body to cold body the amount of heat lost by hot body the amount of heat lost by hot body is equal to the amount of heat gained by cold body the amount of heat gained by cold body this is known as the method of mixtures this is known as the method of mixtures this law is valid if there is no loss of the energy to the surrounding if there is no heat energy loss to the surroundings then only this law is valid we use a device known as calorimeter to measure the heat energy with the method of mixtures a device known as calorimeter is used to measure heat energy with the method of mixtures calorimeter calorimeter is a cylindrical copper vessel we take some liquid like water into the calorimeter so the dotted lines indicate the water and a stirrer is a copper wire bent in the form of a circle having a long hand a copper wire bent as a circular ring with a long hand then this is thermometer the thermometer is held by a clamp which is attached to a retort stand steam heater it is a double walled copper vessel double walled copper vessel in this copper vessel we take water and it will be placed on a tripod stand and the water in the calorie me in this steam heater in this steam heater is heated using a spirit lamp then steam is generated inside this copper vessel there will be a holder and steam the holder will be surrounded by steam the holder is surrounded by steam and the holder will be heated with the steam so we place the solid inside this holder a thermometer will be inserted in this holder and the temperature of this hot substance will be noted the steam after heating the holder it goes out through the outlet then there will be a small side tube through which we can drop the solid into the calorimeter experimental procedure for finding specific heat of a solid experimental procedure for finding the specific heat of a solid an empty dry calorimeter with a stirrer is taken and its weight is determined the weight of an empty calorimeter which is made dry is determined with the stirrer some water is taken into it and once again its mass is determined some water is taken and then the ma mass of the calorimeter is determined once again the temperature of the water inside the calorimeter is noted with a thermometer the temperature is noted with a thermometer the temperature is noted with a thermometer a solid taken in the form of small pieces is heated in the steam heater a solid which is bro broken into the form of pieces is heated in the steam heater the temperature of hot substance is noted and the calorimeter will be placed inside an outlet and then the hot substance will be dropped into the calorimeter and the contents are stirred well the contents are stirred well then the resultant temperature is noted the resultant temperature is noted calculation of specific heat for calculating specific heat we have to take the following readings mass of empty calorimeter with stirrer is w1 mass of empty calorimeter with stirrer is w1 mass of calorimeter and water w2 mass of calorimeter and water w2 temperature of water in the calorimeter t1 degree centigrade temperature of water in the calorimeter t1 degree centigrade temperature of hot substance t2 degree centigrade temperature of hot substance t2 degree centigrade resultant temperature t3 degree centigrade resultant temperature 
33 degrees centigrade mass of calorimeter with solid w3 mass of calorimeter after dropping the solid w3 then the specific heat of the substance ss is given by the relation the specific heat of the substance ss is given by the relation w1s plus w2 minus w1 into sw w1s plus w2 minus w1 into sw whole multiplied by t3 minus t1 t3 minus t1 whole multiplied by t3 minus t1 whole divided by whole divided by w3 minus w2 into t2 minus t3 w3 minus w2 into t2 minus t3 derivation of the relation derivation of the relation the heat gain or heat lost is given by the heat gain or heat lost is given by q is equal to m s theta q is equal to m s theta heat lost by hot solid pieces heat lost by hot solid q1 is equal to w3 minus w2 into ss into t2 minus t3 q1 is equal to w3 minus w2 into ss into t2 minus t3 heat gain by calorimeter heat gain by calorimeter q2 q2 is equal to w1 into s into t3 minus t1 w1 into s into t3 minus t1 heat gain by water in the calorimeter heat gain by water in the calorimeter q3 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 is equal to w2 minus w1 into sw w2 minus w1 into sw into t3 minus t1 into t3 minus t1 from the principle of calorimetry from the principle of calorimetry heat lost is equal to heat gain heat lost is equal to heat gain therefore q1 is equal to q2 plus q3 q1 is heat lost q2 q2 and q3 are heat gain are heat gain therefore q1 is equal to q2 plus q3 q1 is equal to q2 plus q3 from heat lost is equal to heat gain q1 is equal to q2 plus q3 by substituting the values of q1 q2 q3 by substituting the values of q1 q2 q3 we get w3 minus w2 into ss into t2 minus t3 w3 minus w2 into ss into t2 minus t3 is equal to is equal to w1s into t3 minus t1 w1s into t3 minus t1 plus w2 minus w1 into s into t3 minus t1 w2 minus w1 into sw into t3 minus t1 therefore ss is equal to ss is equal to w1s plus w2 minus w1 into sw w1s plus w2 minus w1 into sw whole multiplied by t3 minus t1 t3 minus t1 whole multiplied by whole multiplied by t3 minus t1 whole divided by w3 minus w2 into t2 minus t3 w3 minus w2 into t2 minus t3